No one is born a criminal. The circumstances create one. And if the circumstances get favorable enough, even the worst robbers can turn into saints. This is the story of the famous villain and the most folk tales, Wolf. Today he's celebrating his friend Snake's birthday. They were having a peaceful lunch at a local restaurant. After clearing the bill, they get out on the streets, the people start to scream in fear and run for their lives. Wolf and Snake calmly enter a nearby bank and boom, they've robbed it. Yeah, that's right. They aren't normal citizens but a group of notorious thieves called the bad guys. Wolf is a mastermind planner who plots all the robbery missions, while Snake is an expert at breaking locks. The police are following but Wolf's driving skills are unmatchable. As they reach the main road, the signal turns red but no need to worry. Tarantula turns all the traffic signals green, making a smooth path for the bad guys. She's an expert programmer with a nickname Webs who can hack into any system. The police have gone really close but get trapped at a construction site by Shark. He's another member of the bad guys and is famous for his disguise. He had even stolen the Mona Lisa painting while disguised as Mona Lisa. Their last member is Piranha, a small but deadly fish and an expert at combating. Together, they're the most dangerous criminals of their time. People don't even dare to stand near them. Wolf stops the car right in front of the police station as he's confident of not getting caught. Police chief Misty Luggins follows them fiercely. The police cars have surrounded the bad guys for both sides, but Wolf has a plan. He turns the car and drives it over the stairs and escapes. Afterward, they take shelter in their secret den. It's full of cash and jewelry. After wishing Snake a happy birthday, they start looking for something to eat. Wolf sits down to watch TV, it's them on the news again. The news reporter introduces the new Mayor Diane Foxington. Surprisingly, she's not afraid of the bad guys at all. Instead, she feels sorry for them being the dumb criminals with risky plans. Wolf gets triggered and decides to show Foxington what they really can do. The Best Citizen Award called The Golden Dolphin is going to be awarded to a guinea pig named Professor Marmalade in the upcoming gala. Many other criminals have tried to steal that award, but they all failed miserably. It's a nice chance for the bad guys to show their true potential. As planned, they all disguise themselves as normal citizens and enter the gala. The Golden Dolphin is protected by double security. The first gate can only be opened by Misty's identity card, while the second gate needs Foxington's eye scan to unlock. Wolf proceeds with the plan by distracting Foxington into a conversation. She doesn't recognize him, and Wolf sneaks away her valuable ring. They start talking about art as Foxington really seems to admire it. She believes that even the trash can be recycled into something beautiful, but Wolf is only focused on the plan. He asks for a selfie so he can use the picture for the eye scan later. Misty has brought a huge security team and spreads it all around the hall, but the bad guys have come prepared as well. Piranha swims into the water pipes and Snake sneaks through the airway. Webb uses a security guard and enters the control room. She hacks into the system and can access all the cameras and security devices. Wolf intentionally runs into Misty and steals the ID. While coming down the stairs, he tries to steal a purse and unintentionally saves the old lady from tripping down. The lady feels deeply grateful and appreciates Wolf's kindness. It's the first time in his life that someone admired Wolf for being good. He likes this new feeling, but then reality knocks him back to his senses. Piranha is dressed as a waiter and takes Wolf along with him to the security room. After defeating the guards, they open the eye scan lock using the selfie. Snake has already reached there. Piranha holds Snake and Wolf proceeds down to the Golden Dolphin. They were just an inch away from success, but a bunch of laser guns appeared out of nowhere. The award is being protected by a third type of security made of motion-sensing guns. Webb needs a few minutes to hack the guns, but they have no time. Foxington has already presented her speech and soon the award will be given to Professor Marmalade. He helped the city during the hard times when it was hit by a heart-shaped meteorite. Webbs is struggling with the hacking process and Misty has reached the control room. On the other side, Piranha loses his control and releases a gas that causes Webbs to suffocate. Luckily, she still succeeds in her task and Wolf steals away the award. All the guests are panicking while the bad guys are making their way out of the party. To calm down the atmosphere, Professor Marmalade takes the mic and lets everyone know that he doesn't care about the award. He just likes being good because when you're good, you're loved. These words trigger the unknown feeling in Wolf again. His tail begins to wiggle and draws everyone's attention. They have been caught red-handed, and this time, there's no escape. The bad guys were being carried to the police van, but Wolf got a plan. He requests a moment to talk to Professor Marmalade. Wolf makes an innocent face and asks for a second chance. He also wants to be a good guy and just needs a little guidance. Marmalade's heart melts down and he's ready to experiment with turning the bad guys into good guys. Foxington is reluctant at first, but then Wolf reminds her of what she said about recycling the trash. She agrees and keeps the Golden Dolphin in a safe place till the experiment is complete. The gang is shocked at what Wolf just did, but they feel relieved after knowing that it was just an act. 
They will act as good guys till the gala and afterward, they will steal the golden dolphin again. The next day, they're driven to Professor Marmalade's mansion. It's a luxurious building with a replica of a heart meteorite kept at the center. Professor Marmalade believes everyone has the flower of goodness in them, which is waiting to bloom. He starts the training with a small task of sharing food. Snake is not good at sharing at all. He eats the whole popsicle by himself. This makes Shark angry and he swallows Snake. Marmalade is looking at this sight in fear. Then he tries another task of helping an elderly citizen cross the road. The bad guys fail at it miserably as well. They try to save the kin but scare it away instead. Professor Marmalade feels out of ideas and asks the gang what they're good at. And of course, it's robbery and stealing. Marmalade asks the bad guys to free the guinea pigs being captured for a science experiment. Seeing so many pigs makes Snake's mouth water. He volunteers to help as much as possible. Shark disguises himself as the guard's father and distracts him. In the meantime, Wolf and Snake sneak inside the building. Snake can't control himself and swallows all the guinea pigs. Wolf gets frustrated and squeezes the pigs out of Snake. The exit gate opens and the whole media sees the bad guys treating the pigs roughly. The news gets on the TV in no time. Foxington angrily heads to the mansion and asks Professor Marmalade to stop the experiment immediately. Wolf follows her to the gate and requests her to understand them. The circumstances aren't favorable for them. Even if they get nice, no one is going to trust them ever. Foxington tells Wolf not to think about others' opinions. He should turn good for himself and make the best use of the opportunity he got. Not everyone gets a second chance. Her words are gradually opening up Wolf's heart. Later that night, he softly talks to the little kitten stuck on the tree. The kitten jumps in his arms and starts to cuddle. Wolf is loving this feeling of being liked by someone. As he gets down, the rest of the gang is waiting for an explanation. Before anyone could say a word, Professor Marmalade shows everyone the video he just captured. The social media went on fire after seeing Wolf save the kin. Marmalade drags Wolf to his side and informs him about the potential he has of becoming good. However, if he really intends to change, then at some point, he has to leave his friends as well. After getting in bed, Snake requests Wolf to keep them updated about the plan. If he ever feels like changing, he must inform the gang beforehand. The next day is the gala event. By the way, Wolf explains the whole plan to his mates. This time, the Golden Dolphin is kept on the stage locked by a code which is saved in a suitcase handicapped to Misty. On reaching the venue, Shark will pick up the award replica and Snake will get the code. Webbs will hack the system and as Wolf gets on the stage, he will turn off the lights. At that time, the real award will be replaced with a fake one. Before anyone will realize it, the bad guys will have gone far away. As they step out of the car, people start cheering for them. This is something the bad guys never expected. Everyone has become their fan. Snake tries to steal the password but his tail gets stuck in the case. Instead of the wine glass, Misty accidentally lifts Snake. To distract her, Piranha gets on the stage and starts singing. Shark and Webb handle the instruments and everyone starts dancing to the beats. Snake finally gets free and steals the code. Floxington asks Wolf for a dance and they start moving their bodies on the beats. The party's catching up with the vibes and people start to shower their money on charity. While everyone is distracted by the music, the bad guys continue working on their plan. Wolf is enjoying the dance, but as soon as he gets closer to Foxington, she asks how he's feeling being loved. Wolf looks around and wiggles his tail. He's loving this change. Wolf hands over the ring he stole and takes Foxington to the stage. The song has ended, and it's time to present the award to Professor Marmalade. Wolf steps in front to thank everyone for the chance they gave to the bad guys. Wolf's hand is on the button, but he changed his mind. He doesn't want to steal the Golden Dolphin anymore and hands the award to Professor Marmalade by himself. Suddenly, the light goes off anyway and the meteorite gets stolen. Naturally, all the blame goes to the bad guys. As no one is going to believe them, the bad guys don't give an explanation and try to run away. While running around, Wolf marks a place on the map and hands it over to Foxington. The police surround the bad guys from all sides and they're arrested once again. They keep begging, but no one seems to trust them at all. Professor Marmalade requests the chief to let him have a quick talk. After closing the van door, Marmalade reveals his true identity. He's the one who stole the meteorite. Marmalade has dressed as the old lady to wake up the goodness in Wolf's heart. All this time, he was just using the bad guy so that when he steals the meteorite, everyone will suspect them instead of the real culprit. However, Foxington is suspicious of Marmalade already. She goes to the place Wolf told him. It was their den where they kept all the money. Meanwhile, the bad guys are taken to the central jail. Snake starts blaming Wolf for all that happened. He should have shared his feelings with his mates. He betrayed them. Wolf can't stay contained anymore and starts fighting with Snake. Suddenly, a ninja breaks into the jail. She's an expert fighter and knocks off all the officers in the prisons. She takes off her mask to reveal herself. It's Foxington. She's also known as Crimson Paws who stole a Zimpango diamond thrice without leaving a trace of her identity. More cops come over. Foxington throws smoke bombs and escapes along with the bad guys. She wants to stop Marmalade, but she can't do it alone. Wolf offers help, but the rest of the teammates don't seem to agree. 
Snake grew up being a scary monster. The first person he ever trusted was Wolf, and he betrayed him. They all walk away, leaving Wolf behind with Foxington. Meanwhile, Marmalade has taken the meteorite to his headquarters and started using it to control the guinea pigs all over the world, but Foxington is ready to stop him. She takes Wolf to her secret hideout where she keeps high-quality advanced weapons. They use the maps to track Marmalade's activity. He's using the pigs to steal the charity buses. Foxington and Wolf get in the car and drive to their mission. Well, the rest of the gang has reached their den but gets angry on seeing it empty. All that is left is a popsicle. Snake gives it away to Shark. He has learned to give priority to others' needs over his. The other members are having such feelings too and they're loving it. However, Snake is not ready to accept this change and runs away. On the other side, Foxington and Wolf sneak into Marmalade's place but get caught immediately. Marmalade has already followed their plan because Snake has joined hands with them. Wolf feels completely broken on seeing his friend on the wrong side. Marmalade leaves while signaling his man to kill his enemies. But this is not the end. Shark, Webbs, and Piranha are here. They save their mates and drive away with a meteorite. The guinea pigs are still under Marmalade's control. Webb suggests taking control of the buses using technology, but she needs the right devices. Foxington got that covered. She takes out the controlling capsules and gets on her foldable motorbike. She drives like a pro and sticks the tablets in the buses. Shark and Piranha help them. Now Webbs can control vehicles and take them to the place they belong. The next thing they need to do is hand over the meteorite to the police, but there's one thing missing. Wolf can't do it while leaving his friend behind. He drives back to get Snake. He's with Marmalade on the helicopter. Marmalade calls over the guinea pigs and they follow Wolf's car like a monster, but Wolf isn't giving up. The evil Marmalade decides to blackmail Wolf by throwing Snake down. The car is heading to the broken bridge and Wolf decides to jump, but they can't make it to the other side. While falling down, the bad guys confesses how much they love and care about each other. Wolf smirks and takes out his grapple gun. They are saved, but Misty's waiting to arrest them. Foxington tries to take the blame on herself, but Wolf doesn't let her do it. They may have not taken the meteorite, but they did a lot of crimes in the past, and it's time to take responsibility. Marmalade comes down with the meteorite and acts like a hero who brought back the meteorite. But wait, it's not the real one. Checkmate. Snake never was on Marmalade's side. He just had to act so he could steal the meteorite and destroy it. Marmalade stands in shock with his mouth open. He accidentally drops down the Zumbango diamond he took away from Foxington. Misty mistakes him for the Crimson Paws and arrests him too. Though the bad guys are in jail for now, they've learned a valuable lesson that will help them have a bright future. Never judge a book by its cover. Goodness lies in everyone and waiting to be bloomed. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like and comment. Thank you.